Well, the big news this week on this side of the world is the Welsh rugby star and Gloucester winger Lewis Rees Zammet has decided to leave rugby union for now and join the NFL international player pathway. He's only 22 years old. A lot of people in the rugby world say they're stunned. Truth be told, I don't know how stunned they are because he wouldn't have been on a huge amount of money, maybe a couple of hundred grand if things are going well for Wales, maybe another hundred grand on top of that. Look, it's decent coin, but it's not NFL coin. And his club, Gloucester, haven't been going well. Nine losses in the bounce before a win in Europe last weekend. So the feel-good isn't there with that club or with the Welsh team either. And I think for a lot of rugby players, they look to the horizon, they look across the Atlantic and they see the NFL and it's very, very bright and shiny mm -hmm. with big, big rewards. So I'm not surprised he's going and it won't surprise me if others try to follow him. First of all, what lies in store for him? Because he hasn't got a job in the NFL. He's got a pathway <clears throat> position. Talk to me about that. What does that mean? Well, the pathway position is they're going to put him on a practice squad if he makes it, and he's going to have a couple of years to actually learn and actually have an opportunity to make the squad, right? So it's a very, very unique position. They put him on the practice squad where he has the chance to learn the game for a little bit. They're not going to rush him into anything. So he has an opportunity to do something with his life here in the NFL. I, I really like this <clears throat> athletic challenge he's taken on, right? Being a superior athlete like this, saying, I want to go challenge myself, right? Test my skills. Uh, that's, that's amazing. And, he, and we talked about him. He's got the size. He's got the speed. He's got hand-eye coordination. So that's what you need in the NFL. But they got to be patient with him. Yeah. It's going to take time. That's the key. Everybody needs to understand he's got to get his skill set up, run and going, and he can flow. There haven't been many success stories from this part of the world over there, but his father was a big NFL fan, so he understands <coughs> the nuances of it. He understands the language of it. He's not a complete stranger to NFL. Six foot three, 98 kgs. He is quick, 10.4 for 100 meters. Wait, 10.4? 10.4. Oh, he can fly. Yeah, he can fly. He's also good under a high ball, diagonal ball, so that Perfect. concept of catching something over yeah. your shoulder and turning, he is good at. Yeah. But, I mean... And Craig, you can't teach that. Yeah. That's a skill. And that's what the NFL requires, you know, hand-eye coordination, tracking the ball. Yeah. Uh, but there are a lot of players over there who can do that, who come through the college system, and that's the normal route, yeah. route yeah. into the NFL, <laughs> right? Yeah, it, it is. But just like Jason said, you just have to be very patient with this guy, with his skill set, with his size, with his ability, with his running ability. He, You know, if, if, if you take it easy, you know, ease him into the game, he might have a chance. But the one thing that we do subscribe to in the NFL, especially on the international level, is what we like to call the planet theory, mm. which means there are only so many people who are six foot six, 330 pounds, walking around on planet Earth. So when you talk about the success of rugby players, you look at a Jordan Mayata, who's one of the best players in the NFL now. Why? He was six foot eight, 350 pounds, mm -hmm. could run. There's just not that many people like him. Now, this other guy, he's an incredible athlete, right? And there's a lot of incredible athletes in the NFL. So we have to be very patient with him, teach him the fundamentals of the game, and then the chances of his success can be very high. So 10-week program, if he's successful, what happens next from after that program? Well, he makes it to the practice squad of the NFL where he gets a, a guaranteed practice squad roster for Does NFL. he get paid for that? Yeah, of course. Why would he get paid for that? 260, 270,000 bucks. So he's going to so, make what he's making already. Yeah, 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 exactly. But the problem, well, not the problem, the good thing for him is the upside for him. If he does make it to the NFL roster, 700 and something thousand, yeah. maybe even more than that. If he becomes a good player, you're looking at Christian McCaffrey type numbers, yeah. right? You're looking at big money. So to take a chance like this, to me, from a rugby player, really is a no-brainer. I mean, you go over there, you take your chance. If it doesn't work, come back and play, just like Christian Wade. Financial opportunity is yeah. worth it. And he wants to be a wide receiver, right? So you look at someone like Tyreek Hill, what's he on, $30 million yeah, a year? Hey, hey, slow up, slow up, slow <laughs> no, up. Yeah. No, we trying to, we, <laughs> we trying to get my man on a roster and, and get him used to uh, playing a position. I, I, I guess when he will look at, at rugby union, he'll look at like a player who's earning a lot of dough. You know, there aren't, I don't know if there are any million quid players in rugby union at the What's moment. The salary cap? Yeah, it's, salary well, cap is heading up to six and a half million. Yes. Currently, it's much lower than that. But I'll it's see what I that whole cap I mean, that's your dinner bill. That cap, the cap would have been gone. <laughs> that's like, I, I would have been working for free. <laughs> yeah. yeah what? Imagine, and not only that, right? He talked about Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is on five times. Yeah. The salary cap. Five the times club. the salary cap of a club, one player. Come yeah. on over to the NFL. Um, <laughs> it never disappoints. <laughs> Can I ask you, though, the, the importance, and we've seen it in the Premier League, trying to reach out across the globe and bringing in players from other parts of the world. Is that an important thing for the NFL, to have a European player over there to spike more interest? Without a doubt. Think about what I play this game because I saw people 
like me playing it. The opportunity is there. So seeing that is the key. That's why I love this program. OC and so many others have worked so hard to develop it. It is a great thing.